Hello friends. Welcome to a new lecture on cystic fibrosis. So here in the cystic fibrosis, first let us learn about the etiology of cystic fibrosis in this lesson, in this uh, video. And in the next video, we will learn about the different pathological manifestations and clinical features and diagnosis. So cystic fibrosis is an autosomal recessive uh, disease. Here there is mutation in CFTR which is cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator gene located on chromosome 7. What type of mutation is it? So here there is absence of phenylalanine at 508 position that is delta F508. So that is mutation in CFTR gene at chromosome 7. There is nothing to explain this. You will have to buy hand the chromosome and the phenylalanine chain is absent. Okay. Here there are nearly five different types of cystic fibrotic changes. First, uh, it is divided into five types based on the amount and the uh, type of variation in cystic fibrotic transmembrane regulator gene. So first, there is mutation in this gene and there is defective protein synthesis. Normally, if you see, there is DNA. From the DNA, RNA comes and from there, there is protein synthesis. And that synthesized protein will go to the endoplasmic reticulum and it processes over there. And then it reaches the Golgi apparatus. This Golgi apparatus packages the protein and then it uh, will send it into the external receptor through which it comes outside okay that is the normal thing even cftr protein which is there which is produced from cftr gene follows this pathway whenever there is some obstruction at in the middle of any of this pathway this might lead to cystic fibrosis whenever there is defective protein synthesis that is the dna to RNA, RNA to proteins. This translation, transcription and transcript translation process has some defect. Then it is class 1. Where there is defect in protein synthesis. Then the synthesized protein, if, if there is no defect in protein synthesis. And the synthesized protein has entered the Golgi complex. Sorry, endoplasmic reticulum first. The synthesized protein has entered into the endoplasmic reticulum. In the endoplasmic reticulum, it undergoes some changes and it reaches the Golgi apparatus. When there is some problem in this uh, endoplasmic reticulum to Golgi apparatus, uh, in this packaging of protein, then it is class 2. So in class 2, there is defect in processing the protein. That is class 2. Now, if there is no class 2 mutation, the protein must have reached from the, Gol uh, reached the Golgi apparatus. In the Golgi apparatus, it packages. Okay, It undergoes some changes. If the, and then it, the, the changed protein, the transformed protein, it reaches the um, outer cell surface receptor. Okay, when there is some problem in this process, then it is called as class 3. In class 3, there is defective regulation. The protein which is there, it is not able to re regulate it. So there is defective regulation, that is class 3. Now the regulated protein, it has reached the outer receptor, but it is not going to come, it is not able to come out. So here it should come out, right? for it to function. This process is not happening. So here this is called as class 4 which is defective conduction. The conduction of the protein is not able to happen here. So it's not going to come out. So that is class 4. And finally class 5 where there is decreased functioning protein. CFTR is present but it is present in less amounts. So there is decreased CFTR protein. So these are the different classes of cystic fibrotic protein. Right? So what does this cystic fibrotic protein do? Normally this is the normal 
cystic fibrotic protein so this cystic fibrotic protein normally uh, fibrotic transmembrane regulator protein it will secrete chloride that is it um, this is the cell so it sends chloride ion from the cell into the outside okay so it secretes the chloride ion and it absorbs sodium ion so it helps in the secretion of chloride and absorption of sodium but if there is mutation in uh, cystic fibrotic transmembrane regulator gene so in the cystic fibrotic protein is not able to secrete chloride ions or absorb sodium ions so as a result the chloride ions are accumulated in the cells itself they are not going outside generally along with the chloride ion water even goes out and this water will hydrate the mucus which is present here but here because of the absence of chloride transport because of the breakage in chloride transport even water cannot go outside the cell as a result the mucus becomes thick like this and it obstructs different tubes any tube tubal processes which are present it will obstruct okay all that we will do in our next class but now so these are the different classes so this is the function of cystic fibrotic transmembrane regulator protein now if you see <coughs> excuse me class 1 class 2 class 3 these class class 1 class 2 class 3 if you see there is no cftr protein at all right the protein which is produced here it should undergo some changes in the endoplasmic reticulum and that should again undergo some changes in the golgi apparatus these changes are not happening so as a result there is no protein at all so this class 1 class 2 class 3 are very severe so they have severe manifestations whereas class 4 and class 5 these two here there is protein in class 4 protein is present but it is not able to come out in class 5 protein is present this is 5 sorry protein is present but it is present in less amounts so this is the mildest form this is a moderate form so these are the different forms of cystic fibrotic um, fibrosis transmembrane regulation protein and cystic fibrotic mutations right uh, so here in, in this class 4 even there is some functional protein or partially functional protein so as a result it is moderate this is milder changes right so this is the major etiological feature in cystic fibrosis in our next class we will learn about the different um effects pathological effects that this cystic fibrotic transmembrane regulator gene does and the effect of this gene on different organs thank you guys for watching my lecture um thank you please subscribe the channel for more lectures thank you